I wanted to do a quick review of four items that we purchased from Hatching Time. The first one is the egg turning trays um, with the hatching baskets. The, we ordered the 120 that is four levels, so four trays and four baskets. Um, they are advertised as non-vibrating egg turners, but unfortunately two of the four motors uh, make a special noise and do vibrate quite a bit. So um, as you possibly know, that can lead to embryo death during hatching and is really not ideal. This is what the trays look like. Um, they have these little pins that should come out to remove the chicken egg racks. Um, I tried to remove the first one and unfortunately the head popped out and this one is never coming out from here. Um, but they are quite, flim uh, quite flimsy possibly 3D printed. There's a lot of extra plastic everywhere. Um, they're very rough cut. The lines aren't smooth at all. Pretty much um, all of the parts are kind of poorly cut. So um, we purchased this with, and I'll show you the second item with eight goose racks um but the first problem we ran into with these is that we can't get the chicken racks out so if we can't get the chicken racks out the goose racks are not going in um the second problem specific to the racks is that um, i'll show you some goose eggs here so the chicken rack holds the goose eggs kind of like this, they sit on top. And ideally, the goose racks would hold them better. Um, but they sit about the same in the goose racks. They are marginally larger, but not larger enough that it makes a functional difference. So um, yes, you can fit, I have three goose eggs here. You can fit three eggs in one of these racks, but um, they're very jiggly. And I don't know if you can see on the bottom tray there, they do turn back and forth quite a bit. And these eggs, because they're just sort of barely propped here, they're at risk of falling out. Um, so if the vib vibrations don't get them, um, they may fall out and end that way. Um, the hatching baskets are kind of a cool design. I wish they didn't have the ribbing here on the top and bottom that was possibly placed there to reinforce them. However, they get caught going in and out on the top level. Um, they came with these pins that just set down like that. So it's kind of a kind of a neat little thing. The problem is that let's get it in here so you can see the base of this hatching basket is smaller than the frame it sits on. So they're never going to sit perfectly flat, even if you manage to place them like that and they're almost flat. The problem is that with the smallest amount of motion that um, I have not used this, I didn't make it far enough to actually get to use any of this um, before deciding that it needs to go back, but just the smallest amount of motion and they collapse onto the one below. So um, my concern about that is that my goslings will all go flying. Um, and I don't know if that could cause injury, but I don't feel comfortable using something that isn't on 
a flat base at least or large enough to sit on the base it comes with. Um, this black shelf is the base that these products come with. Um, so technically the hatching baskets could be okay if they just made the bottom a little bit wider, but it falls down from either one side or the other um, because it is too small on the bottom. So those are the first two items that I purchased, the turning racks and the supplemental racks for geese. That was the first couple hundred dollars that I spent, plus a little more. Um, this also did not come with instructions, but customer service did send me instructions. Um, the third item that I purchased is the Humisonic uh, humidifier, including the power supply. So I'll open this up and show you. Humidifier. And um, we planned to connect it to a smart switch and a hygrometer so that it kicks on when the humidity goes low and turns off when it reaches certain humidity. Um, what they don't show on the website anywhere is that it comes with a European plug. Um, it's not listed in the listing as of the time of purchase. There are no pictures of this side of the plug. Um, and it is a European plug, which doesn't help me out at all. Customer service said that that comes that way because that's how it works in their incubators. They use it with the European plug. But selling them as individual pieces, if you're going to DIY an incubator as we are, um, it's pretty critical that we're able to plug it in. So that one is not going to work out either. Um, the fourth and final item that we purchased is this one gallon tank. We bought this to um, have a good amount of water supply that was thin enough to fit um, where we wanted it to go. The main problem, I don't know if you can see this, the hole is drilled quite poorly and is larger than this ring that's meant to fill it. So um, basically we have a tank um, that does not securely hold water. So that one was, I believe, $18.99 at the time of purchase and um, does not work. So that also needs to go back. So that is about the products specifically. Our next issue came when we contacted them and asked them to take them back. Um, we found out that we would be responsible to ship them back and they would send us a label, but we didn't know how much that label would cost. It would just come off of our refund and we spent over $300 on these items. Um, and none of them, none of them work to do the job they're meant to do. So I didn't want to be responsible for an undeclared amount of return shipping. I really didn't feel like we should be responsible for return shipping at all because the product products all arrived um, defective or um, basically unusable. Um, I do need to be able to, to plug them in on US power because I'm in the US and I need everything to be flat and um, stable as a minimum. So customer service kind of argued with me and um, I, I did argue back um, and they, they said that the plug is supposed to be European for their needs and everything um they don't feel that the goose trays are inadequately sized and um, it is what it is but eventually they did agree to cover the cost of shipping if i sent everything back in their original shipping boxes which i have one but not the other so we'll see how that goes um 
but uh, it took quite a lot of emailing back and forth and was a very frustrating process um, that I do not recommend um, you put yourself through, to be honest. Um, if you would still like to purchase some of Hatching Time's products, I do recommend that you purchase through a store such as Amazon where you have their customer service to help you out in case you get four defective or broken items um, such as these. So I can't really recommend any of these products. Uh, I can't really recommend the company. They did say that they will take them back and refund me, um, but I have no proof that that's going to happen until it does. And I will update this video after these items go back and um, let you know how it, that part turns out. But um, I wouldn't hatch. I wouldn't hatch my eggs in this product because I don't feel like it is up to the task. So that's my review. That's my opinion. Um, I paid for these items. I didn't get them for free. I know that they do send them to certain uh, people for review, but I am not one of those people. I spent my money on them and was disappointed. So I hope that this video helps you out and saves you some of the trouble that I have had with hatching time. So good luck and happy hatching.